But let's look at some data, the type of data that we're not getting from our health care agencies. So we have to look, unfortunately, to England and to Israel that are more transparent. Now, I don't, rec I don't expect anybody to be able to read the figures here. I'll give you, I'll give you the highlights, but I'm, I'm showing that this is from Public Health England. This is one of their, their federal health care agencies. This is from their technical briefing number 23, dated September 17, 2021. It covers cases for about seven and a half months, from the beginning of February to February 12th. What the data shows is that during that seven and a half month period in England, there were about 750,000 new COVID cases. About a little under 600,000 of those were the Delta variant, about 80%. The number of deaths associated with those 600,000 Delta cases was 2,542, which gives us a case fatality ratio of about 0.4. Again, case fatality is higher than infection fatality because these are actually registered cases and there are all kinds of infections that never get registered. So to put this in context, an infection fatality rate for a bad flu season is slightly under 0.2, half of this. Just going to put things in perspective. Now, President Biden, and this has been parroted by media, news media, said that what we are currently experiencing is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. They don't give us really any data to back that up. They just to proclaim, pronounce that 99% of people with COVID now are unvaccinated, but they don't give us the data. But we have data from England, and here's the data. So of the 600,000 cases in England, 43% were with the unvaxxed, 27% were with the fully vaxxed, another 30% were with partially vaxxed or just undetermined. But I think what's interesting, because here's another quote from President Biden. President Biden said, if you're vaccinated, you're not going to be hospitalized. You're not going to an ICU unit. You're not going to die. You're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Well, maybe that's true in the U.S. I kind of doubt it because in England, of the 600,000 new cases of Delta, of the over 2,500 deaths, 63% of those deaths, 1,613 people were, were the fully vaccinated. 28% were with the unvaxxed. Now, this is information the American people have probably never heard. It's information, by conveying it, I will get attacked, I will be vilified, I will be censored, I will be suppressed. It's one of the reasons I've come to the floor of the Senate to reveal this information that the American people need to know.